All right, today we're going through another chest workout because the last thing I want is for you to one day look back on your life with regret. Sit there and think, I wonder how much better my life would have been if I would have had bigger tits. I don't want that for you. Let's get after it. All right, we're starting off with cables because the one thing I found that's just as important as warming up those shoulders, getting those rotator cuffs all greased up, is starting with the exercise that really primes the chest because, yeah, you can sit there between each rep and think, okay, I got to pull those shoulders back. Chest has to be nice and tall, but I don't go to the gym to think. I go there to kick my own ass. So instead, you can start with the exercise that really pushes a ton of blood, and that way you don't have to think about it. Those hand warmers are leading the way the entire time. Now, whether or not you have access to cables doesn't matter. You can use bands, because I'm not stressing a specific exercise, more so how you structure your sets. Because most people walk up to the cable machine with their favorite exercise in mind, do three, maybe four sets, and then go to the drinking fountain and try to scout that machine fly that's right next to the adductor machine. You creeps know what I'm talking about. Missing out on one of the biggest benefits that cables or even bands has to offer. Being able to pinpoint what part of that chest you engage the most. So instead of doing your favorite three sets of nonsense, instead, why not change the exercise with each set? You can do that with the handles. Just drop the handles each time. Or if you're doing a seated bench like this, you could actually change the angle of the bench and change the movement completely. So you might start with an incline press, but as the angle goes down, it turns into more of a decline press. Another mistake I see people make on here is they treat it like every other exercise. It's not. You're not trying to hit PRs. You're trying to push a ton of blood and take very little rest in between. I see this all the time. Somebody will hop on the machine, do a really tough set, but then take three minutes to reminisce on the time when they moved in their ex-girlfriend, went to go put their clothes away in the drawer, and then found out she had a dildo bigger than their leg. This is not a time for dildo thoughts. You should be able to double most people's output. When they're doing three or four sets, you should be able to get in seven or eight because all you're doing is hitting a set, changing the angle, and getting right back after it. And if you're sitting there thinking, that won't work, I got a training partner, you're probably young. Don't worry, one day you'll grow up into the told you were born to be and then say something to piss him off and be back to training by yourself. All right, the next exercise is also going to answer the question I've been getting a lot recently, which is how do you keep those anterior delts from screwing everything up? And for me, it's just about modifying the exercise until I get that result I want. And one of the things I found that not only pulls those shoulders back so that chest is nice and tall, but actively works the muscles involved is by laying on the ground and jamming a foam roller on your back. So preferably you have a lot softer foam roller than this piece of shit, or even use a BOSA ball works great. But the key is to contract those rhomboids and traps the entire time you're on here. And yeah, it's going to limit your range of motion, but that's exactly what we want because it's going to keep those shoulders back and down the entire time. And the only way you screw it up and jumps in those anterior delts is if you lose that contraction with your back. So not only can you pull out this exercise and use it as much as you want, you're going to find you have a great connection to that chest. You can even do these on a bench to get even more of a stretch. But also you're going to find that those stabilizing muscles are going to build up over time. And naturally those shoulders are going to go back and down and you'll start driving through your chest. And then you won't have to message another man online asking for help with your anterior delts. Thanks again, Roman, for sponsoring this video. They reached out and they said, hey, you got two ad reads left. Can you just not use terms like marshmallow d or at least stop doing c push ups? But in my defense, they're missing out on a huge demographic of people. People like myself that are more than happy to throw on some old school mesh gym shorts, pop some media medication, and walk around the mall with a raging boner just to ruin everybody else's day. Because Roman makes it easy for men to get help with common men's health conditions. And when you're doing something as serious as ED, you want help ASAP. Or if, like me, you want to pop one before a business meeting just to assert your dominance, you'll find it's a pretty quick process. Just grab your phone or hop on your computer and complete a free online visit, and you'll hear back from a U.S. licensed physician within 24 hours. And if a doctor decides treatment's right for you, hint, I would tell him you got a sword fight scheduled for later that day. You want to be able to pierce a beer can with it before you shotgun it. You're part of the Make-A-Wish program, and it's been your lifelong dream to see what it's like to be like one of those people in the ED commercials that have erection longer than four hours. Roman's Pharmacy can ship your medication to you with free two-day shipping, you also get free unlimited follow-ups anytime you have questions or you want to adjust your treatment plan. And there's no commitment. So if you're struggling with ED or you just want to pitch a tent 24-7, go to GetRoman.com slash Ryan for a free online visit and free two-day shipping. Again, that's GetRoman.com slash Ryan for a free online visit and free two-day shipping. If you're wondering why I'm so sweaty, sometimes I get carried away. I'm supposed to be filming a video. I start working out. Shit happens. So if you've ever used hoist machines before, you know they're phenomenal. There's just enough movement to make you really connect with that muscle, but... Not too much where it's obnoxious. Question, am I the only one that before they go on a roller coaster figures out exactly where the camera is so they know the moment they can take that look off their face? The look of, that guy must have shit his pants. So then you can look like a hard ass, but you go way too far. And when the picture pops up on the screen, everybody looks at you like you're a serial killer.
every time. So in the spirit of that, we're doing the poor man's version with flies, letting that lower back and butt hang off the bench. And as you go into that stretch, you're gonna really force it by driving those hips down. And as you contract up, you lean back and drive those hips up. It's gonna only feel like a little bit of movement, but it's gonna really increase the intensity of that stretch. All right, now that you got that dry humping out of your system, we're gonna finish off with really wide grip push-ups, but make two adjustments. First, those hands will be slightly supinated. That's gonna naturally bring those shoulders back and down. And the second is we're gonna go all the way down and hold the bottom for a five count. And it should ruin your life. If you haven't got a chance to check out the program, I'll link to that below. It's 30 days, it's 20 videos, it's 20 bucks, and there's a Facebook group. You don't have to be a part of it, but it is nice to know that you have a community of people and you're sharing in the fact that you're all getting your ass kicked. And if you're limited on equipment, I'd watch this chess video next, or it's just another one of my favorites. But as always, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and get after it, get growing. Talk to you soon.